Hi friend, my friend, I've got a student that's working on Nirvana about a girl. These are the right chords. We're going to be playing in the key of E minor or G major. G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminish, O, G, or E minor. If we played E minor and then went to an F sharp diminish and then to a G major, we're going to be playing E natural. If we did a G augmented, which I do believe is in this, we're going to be playing something called a uh, harmonic minor. So raising that that level tone note here in the key to having a D sharp, that often works. So we're just gonna stick with natural minor. I'm gonna show you how to play the E minor here. Put your pinky up on the high G note, holding that E minor and then switching our finger, we could put our G note down here if one. But I prefer authentic chords, like an E minor to a G major. So if you can move your hands fast enough, we're doing 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. We're then gonna give inflection or accents. One E and a, two E and a, three E and four E and a, one E and a, two E, three E and four E and a. C sharp major. Take advantage of F sharp major, meaning we're going to play the same chord we use for A major, but then we're going to scoot that up to the sixth fret and bar the entire fourth. Make sure that when we get this bar chord to make it sound well, we're looking to pinch like this. Thumb right in the back, move these hands out, and then make our shoulder float and our elbow float, just like we would if we're moving a cello bow. Want to keep this nice and loosey-goosey. There's our C-sharp major. Go down a whole step or a major second, and instead of playing the A-shape, play what looks like the E major shape. F-sharp major. We're going to do that again. Then we're going to play an E major to an A major, A minor, and then E again. Very weird, but that's Nirvana. You can also walk it up to the C if you want. E, A major, C. And I think I hear overtones of both. Let's play it both ways and see what happens. that C sharp major. Yeah, I think that sounded good with this C in there. Here comes a C sharp major. Fourth fret, remember. Second fret. That is the entire song. I hope you really enjoyed this. It sets the foundation and you learned a little something about cordage, notes, music theory, and a little bit of rhythm. Aloha.